All right, today we're talking about the three baseball world championships, the World Baseball Classic, the Premier 12, and the Summer Olympics. Why do we have three of them? What purpose do they serve? And which one is the most important? To answer the first two questions, I'll give a brief description of each tournament. You'll see why they all exist and what they do for the sport. The last question is not an easy one to answer, but I think I can provide one. So if you're not familiar with any or all of these tournaments, this will give you a good introduction. If it's nothing new to you, just hang on, it won't take long. The World Baseball Classic is like the World Cup for baseball. Players from Major League Baseball and all the major professional leagues of the world take part. In the next edition of the Classic, 20 countries will participate. 16 of them are automatically qualified. Another 12 countries compete for the final four spots in a qualifying tournament. The event takes place once every four years in March, just before the start of the Major League and other Summer League seasons. It lasts about three weeks. The final round always takes place in the U.S., while the earlier rounds are held at different locations in the Americas and East Asia. What's good about the WBC is that it's the only tournament to feature Major League players, so you see more talent in the WBC than in any other international baseball tournament in the world. Also, the WBC, plus the qualifiers, includes 28 countries, so it's not just limited to the top baseball playing countries of the world. Any country with a national baseball team can realistically aim to be a part of this event. The timing of the event is an improvement over previous international baseball tournaments in that it doesn't take place during the major league season, so players can participate if they choose to. But the timing is still a big problem. Major league players, especially pitchers, have been reluctant to play in the WBC. Throwing hard after three months of rest is not only hard to do, it can be dangerous. So there's risk of injury just before the start of a 162 game season. Therefore, no country ever gets all of its best players like they wish they could have. But it is a popular event, and the winner is given the title of World Champion. An often asked question is, why don't they just call it the Baseball World Cup? Well, when the WBC was created, there was already an event of that name. The Baseball World Cup was held every two years from 1938 to 2011, and did not include players from MLB, NPB, or any other top-tier professional league. Never a popular event, the Baseball World Cup was discontinued in favor of the WBC. Nowadays, the title Baseball World Cup is only used for the WBSC's youth tournaments. Not sure why they settled on the name World Baseball Classic, but with the acronym WBC being so commonly used, they could change it to World Baseball Cup or World Baseball Championship and no one would really notice. With baseball not being an Olympic sport, this meant that the WBC would be the only World Championship and it would only take place once every four years. To fill the void, the Premier 12 was created. The Premier 12 comes every four years, two years after the last WBC and two years before the next. Only the top 12 countries compete, so it's very competitive. In every game there is the realistic possibility of an upset, and blowouts are not as common. It includes players from professional leagues like NPB, KBO, CPBL, LMB, and the farm teams of MLB. The one shortfall of the tournament is that there are no major league players, so it cannot claim to have the best players in the world. In this way, it's like baseball in the Olympics used to be, a competition involving the best players outside of Major League Baseball. It gives us a good way to measure the development of baseball in each country, independent of the Major League system. Not surprisingly, in the 2019 Premier 12, Japan was first, Korea second, Mexico third, and then the USA was fourth. Those top three countries all have professional leagues that are at a level on par with or higher than AAA. Countries that have all their best players on Major League rosters don't fare so well in the Premier 12. In 2019, it served as a qualifier for the Olympics, with the top finishers from Asia and from the Americas receiving an automatic bid. And that brings us to the Olympics. From 1992 to 2008, baseball was a medal sport in the Olympics. It was scheduled to come back to the Olympics in 2020, disappear again in 2024, and probably reappear in 2028. So it is, at best, an on and off Olympic sport. The 92 and 96 games were played by teams made up entirely of amateur athletes. From 2000 to 2008, professional athletes took part, but not major league players, so the talent level was similar to the Premier 12. The best thing about having baseball in the Olympics is, it's the Olympics. It's the event that every sport wants to be a part of. With more than 200 nations present and the whole world watching, there's no better place for the sport to get exposure. But the Olympics only had room for eight teams, meaning that a few of the strongest countries were always left out. And of course, the timing was always a problem. So that's it. The Olympics is the Olympics. The WBC is the world championship for baseball. The Premier 12 is there because the Olympics aren't always there. Which one is the best? Let me make an argument for each one. Each one has its advantages, but there is one that's clearly more important than the others. 
As a baseball fan, my personal favorite is the Premier 12. Many reasons for this. One, it's got the perfect number of teams. When only counting countries that are good at baseball, that can fill a roster with talented players, the number comes to about 12. Eight is not enough. 20 is too many. It takes place at the best time of year. In November, the championship series for all the summer leagues are behind us. Long winter ahead of us. The WBC competes with spring training. The Olympics take place during the season. And baseball at the Olympics is overshadowed by so many other sports. With the Premier 12, the baseball world can focus on this one event. Nothing big going on during or right after it. No Major League players participate, that's true. But if I want to see two teams with lineups full of Major League players, I'll watch a Major League game. In the Premier 12, we can see countries like USA and Dominican Republic with rosters full of players that'll go on to play in MLB just a year or two later. In the tournament, they're facing competition that's often higher than AAA, and it's good to see how they perform. In the 2015 Premier 12, the Japan team featured Kenta Maeda and Shohei Otani. But if you ask baseball fans in those 12 countries, most will tell you the WBC is the best one. This is the one and only tournament where countries can dream of getting their absolute best players to represent them. Even if they don't get all those players to participate, their WBC team is certain to be stronger than the national team they put on the field for any other event. A country's performance in the WBC doesn't exactly reflect their standing in the baseball world, but it does so more accurately than other tournaments do. The WBC has been played four times and crowned three champions, Japan, Dominican Republic, and the USA, the countries you'd expect to be at the top. In contrast, the top team in Olympic baseball was Cuba because they were sending their best, while other countries were sending minor leaguers or amateur players. But outside of the 12 or so countries that sit at top of the baseball world, even for those who do participate in the WBC, almost anyone will tell you that the ultimate prize for their national baseball team would be a gold medal at the Olympics. Even if Olympic baseball is not the ideal competition, the prestige of the games is what makes it so important. Unlike soccer's World Cup, the WBC can't get the whole world's attention. Most countries of the world still don't know much about baseball, so the game needs to be put out there for everyone to see. The Olympics is that one time every four years when people take an interest in sports they'd never seen or heard much about before. It's also a time when people notice countries they never thought much about before. Governments of the world know this and will only provide funding to Olympic sports. For a lot of countries with fledgling baseball programs, without any government support, they can't become serious competitors. The benefits of Olympic inclusion could be seen in the early 90s when baseball first became an Olympic sport. At that time, a lot of countries started playing baseball for the first time. In the past decade, a lot of baseball's progress around the world owes to the fact that it was added for the 2020 games. If it becomes a regular medal sport every four years, enthusiasm for the game will only increase. And for that reason, I would say that the Olympics is the most important event for the future of baseball. Inclusion in the Olympics means more growing of the game worldwide. And with that, the WBC will attract more attention, which is the true world championship for baseball. The Premier 12, though it's my personal favorite, would likely be discontinued if baseball and softball become regular Olympic sports. Though I hope they'd find some reason to continue it, maybe as an Olympic qualifier like they did last time. That's what I think. Let us know what you think. Which world championship is the best for baseball? Which is your personal favorite? Should all three continue to exist? And what changes, if any, should be made to them? That's all for this one, and until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya.